candida esophagitis is the topic and I'll talk about uh, esophagitis in general and then I'll touch base about candida more specifically. Esophagitis, as you can deduce, is essentially inflammation of the esophagus and the esophagus, of course, is the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. And in terms of etiology, the causes of esophagitis vary a lot, but the two most common in terms of licensing exams tend to be candida, which is of course the yeast, and herpes, which is a virus. There are other causes, of course, such as GERD, chronic uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease, chronic nausea and vomiting, and also certain medications such as aspirin can also cause this inflammation. So what are some of the symptoms of esophagitis? Well, most classically you have difficulty swallowing, dysphagia. You can also have odynophagia, which is essentially pain during swallowing. Although odynophagia is a very serious uh, symptom, it sometimes um, leads you to think of throat cancer rather than just basic inflammation. Heartburn, of course, is a classic uh, symptom, and also patient can also have nausea and vomiting. In terms of diagnosis, the best way really to visualize uh, esophagitis is by doing an EGD, which stands for esophago-gastro-duodenoscopy. And I have a picture that I'd like to show you, and here it is, of essentially a snapshot of a patient that has candida esophagitis and this is what was seen when an EGD was done. These white areas of course are the candida and as you can see it's pretty characteristic. Other tests that can be done are a biopsy and a barium swallow. A barium swallow followed by x-rays will be able to detect anatomic uh, abnormalities such as fistulas or uh, something of that nature. Treatment? Well the treatment of course depends on the etiology. Are you treating a fungus? Are you treating a viral cause? And also certain medications such as PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, will help reduce the acid uh, that is sometimes the cause of the inflammation. So I wanted to now touch base briefly about candida esophagitis. Most clinical vignettes on the licensing exams will talk about candida esophagitis in the context of an HIV positive patient because up to 20 percent of patients with HIV can have candida esophagitis in particular when their CD4 count drops below 100. And the species uh, full name is candida albicans and really a lot of the symptomatology that I talked about before is applicable and so is the diagnostic studies. The EGD of course will show this classic uh, white exudate. The treatment really is any antifungal, any of these azole medications and most commonly you're looking at fluconazole and then sometimes they also use itraconazole. So let's take a look at a couple clinical vignettes. A male homosexual patient who has tested positive for HIV complains of painful swallowing and endoscopy shows white plaques that leave a beefy red denuded areas when removed. Uh, examination is negative except for white exudates in the oral cavity that leave a raw slightly bleeding base. Which of the following is clearly relevant statement regarding the patient's physical findings? Well, this patient has candida esophagitis. So you have to look for that in the answer choices. Here they're talking about aphthous, herpes, so those are wrong. That's not an angina. And really what you're talking about is candida esophagitis in the presence of an HIV infected patient. So that's the best answer choice. And that's really what the question is asking. And finally, a 43 year old man with AIDS is in the hospital for pneumonia. On his second hospital day, he reports difficulty swallowing. He says that for the last month, he has had difficulty swallowing food and medications. He also complains of burning pain in the upper chest when swallowing, denies abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting. Vitals are essentially normal. 
Examination of the mouth reveals pink oral mucosa and normal tongue. He has no significant cervical lymphadenopathy. Abdominal exam is normal. The patient's last CD4 count was performed five months ago and at that time was 190. The most appropriate next step is. Well, he's got AIDS, he's got a very low CD4 count, and he's got difficulty swallowing, so it's probably a good idea to do an EGD to take a look to see if he has developed candida esophagitis.